September 28, 2022. In Florida, Hurricane Ian makes landfall with Category 4 force. As one of the most potent U.S. storms in recent history, Hurricane Ian slammed into Florida's Gulf Coast on Wednesday, wreaking havoc on the state with howling winds, heavy rain, and a dangerous surge of ocean surf. Category 4 hurricane with sustained winds of up to 150 miles per hour, 241 kilometers per hour, made landfall on Cayo Costa, a barrier island about west of Fort Myers, at 3.05 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. On the Saffir Simpson scale, Category 5 is the most severe classification for storms with maximum sustained winds of at least 157 miles per hour, and the storm's wind speed slightly missed that mark. But the storm quickly turned lovely beach towns into catastrophe areas. shared on social media and broadcasted locally showed water fueled by the strong storm surge pouring through neighborhoods and almost reaching rooftops an hour after landfall. <laughs> Floodwaters had almost completely engulfed Fort Myers Beach, and cars, and the remains of homes could be seen floating downstream. Okay. Goodbye, floating dock. Current conditions here in Naples, Florida. As you can see, the water has come into the first floor. A video of Sanibel Island showed the ocean crashing through the seawall and into the swimming pool of a vacation hotel. Another video taken on the island showed streets that had been overrun by the storm surge surging to the tops of the street signs. According to forecasters, Ian would bring with it strong thunderstorms, possibly tornadoes, and storm surges of up to 18 feet (3.7 meters), which are wind-driven coastal inundation. This 
storm will be remembered as a historic occurrence for many years to come. Authorities advised locals that it was too late for anyone who had not yet evacuated to do so safely as Ian pounded Florida's Gulf Coast in its last hours before it came ashore. Coast Guard workers have saved three Cuban migrants who tried to swim to land after their boat capsized during Hurricane Ian. They are receiving care in a nearby hospital for symptoms of dehydration and exhaustion. Helicopter search is in progress as 20 more migrants are still missing. One of the most powerful storms to hit the U.S. mainland recently, Ian had sustained winds that peaked at 155 miles per hour before making landfall. We haven't gotten the surge yet. The surge is coming this afternoon. Water's come down a lot. That neighbor, the water went into the home. In contrast, Hurricane Ida last year packed sustained winds of 150 miles per hour when it made landfall on Louisiana, while Hurricane Michael came ashore in Florida's Panhandle with steady winds of 155 miles per hour. <laughs> Exactly where Hurricane Charlie, a Category 4 hurricane, made landfall in 2004, so did Hurricane Ian. At landfall, both hurricanes had winds of 150 miles per hour. Over 1 million consumers have experienced power outages due to Ian. More than 2.5 million people left the area earlier this week. are becoming more violent, windier, and rainy as a result of climate change. Research indicates that we are witnessing this much more frequently than we did in previous decades, and Hurricane Ian's rapid intensification may prove to be another example of how a warming planet is affecting hurricanes.
Girl. 